Behind me is Hinkley C, now that's Europe's largest construction site. To this side here we have Hinkley A, and behind me here we have Hinkley B. Now this started operating in 1976, but it was turned off last year. Since then, EDF's made a £3 million investment in this site here. It's undergone safety checks, and they've been given permission to turn the reactor back on for another 12 months. People are so proud to work here. Um, 76, I said, we first synchronised to the grid. People work here, their children apply for apprenticeships, and we've seen two or three generations in A and B site who want to work here. When we have advertised jobs, we have four to 500 applicants, and many of those are a family of workers here. So we've been talking to our staff for, for several years now, where we've been talking to them about what the future holds, their opportunities here at Hinkley Point B, and of course Hinkley Point C as well. And we're tr striving to meet as many people's aspirations as we can whilst we get ready for defueling. For me, it's a great opportunity being an apprentice um, on a nuclear site. Um, I actually transferred from being a coal apprentice to uh, finish out my apprenticeship over here. And definitely the future is pretty bright. Um, I'll hopefully finish my apprenticeship out over here and hopefully there'll be a future over at Hinkley Point C. Hinkley Point A is one of the first generation of commercial reactors in the UK. It's a Magnox reactor and it's owned and operated by the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority. So it reached end of generation in the year 2000. It defuelled the site a few years after that and is in the deconstruction phase. One of the key things for us, it's a great source of experience for us to draw upon as we prepare for defuelling the Hinkley Point B site. So here at Hinkley Point B, we'll go into the defuelling phase of station life once we've reached end of generation and that will take about three and a half years to defuel. We're not proposing to do any significant deconstruction of the site during that period but we'll prepare for deconstruction and that will involve slowly taking away the remaining hazards on the site, it would involve knocking down the, a lot of the ancillary buildings but that will then leave the reactor buildings in a state of, sa of safe store for uh, the next period of time until it's safe to deconstruct those as well.